welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be going over the basics of paddles in this video. So if you came here from my basic brakes tutorial, you are in the right place. But if you haven't watched that video yet, and this is the first one that you're coming across, be sure to go back and watch my basic brakes tutorial. It's gonna be somewhere up here. Getting that part of the move down first will be super helpful when you're getting the paddle part of brakes and paddles down. It's just gonna help you understand the timing of the move and when to bring your hands in and out of the hoop. And I'll go over all of that in just a few. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a 35 inch 3 fourths poly pro. Definitely recommend using something that is just of a larger diameter just so that it can move a little bit slower and it's easier for you to get the move down. So first and foremost, before we get started with the move, make sure that you get your hair out of the way and you're not wearing a super flowy top just because you want to make sure the hoop is making contact with your body as much as possible and you want to make sure that nothing is getting in the way. So you're gonna start with the hoop up against your body like this. So it's gonna be placed right below your delt and your shoulders up against your back. And I want you to take your dominant hand and just put it inside of the hoop and up against your chest. Then you're going to pull the hoop over to your non-dominant side and just toss the hoop over to your dominant side. The hoop can fall. I just want you to practice this motion right here just so you can understand what a paddle is going to do. So as you're tossing it over to your dominant side, you can feel that the hoop is making contact with the back of your hand. So that is the moment when you are going to push the hoop down and across your body so that it can add another rotation around your body. So you're just gonna toss the hoop and as it makes contact with the back of your hand, you're just gonna push the hoop down and you're gonna bring your arm down and across. So you're gonna push and go down and across. So what this does is just add another rotation around your body because as you're doing just a basic break, the hoop is only doing half of a rotation around your body. It's actually not going around your back and it's only making contact with your chest, but it's not going around your body entirely. So how to get from your basic breaks over to your paddles, you are going to bring your hand inside of the hoop immediately after you break. So I'm gonna be doing it with my dominant hand right over here. And once I break the hoop, I'm going to bring my hand into the hoop and against my chest, like how we had it before, right here. You can see that I'm making contact with the hoop. I'm gonna break and in. So instead of going down and across for your basic break, you're just gonna bring your hand inside of the hoop. So once you're in that position, instead of just catching the hoop and doing what we were doing before and tossing it over to your dominant side, you're just going to break and that's going to push the hoop over to your dominant side. And once it makes contact with the back of your hand, that's when you're just going to push. So again, you're just going to be in your basic breaks you're gonna bring your hand inside, break and push. And just to continue your breaks and paddles, as you bring your hand down and across, you're going to bring it back up and continue breaking on your dominant side. So it's gonna look something like this. You're going to break in, push, break. Break in, paddle, break. So as you're doing this, you also want to keep in mind of your posture. You want to pull your shoulders back. And as the hoop is moving from one side to another, you want to be pointing your chest. But since you're adding another rotation, the movement that you're going to be pointing your chest is going to be a little bit slower because the hoop has to complete the rotation. And then you're going to complete the move pointing in the other direction. So again, you're going to your basic breaks. You're going to bring your hand inside immediately after you break. Then you're going to push the hoop and point your chest as the hoop is moving from your non-dominant side to your dominant side. So you're going to break, push, and go back into your basic breaks. Then once you get comfortable with that, obviously practice on your non-dominant side. It's the same thing. You're just going to break in, push, break. Break in, paddle, break. Something that also kind of helps me as I'm doing this move, the hand that you are not paddling with, you're going to hit the hoop a little bit 
harder so that it gives the hoop some momentum and really sends it over to your other side. What I mean by that is as you are going to break, you're going to break a little bit harder just so you can push the hoop over to your other side and give it that momentum so that you can keep your brakes and paddles looking a little bit cleaner. Because as you go slower, it's going to look a little bit wonky, it's gonna to start to fall. So giving it that extra push and a little bit more power, sending it over to your other side, is just gonna keep it looking a little bit cleaner. So you're going to break, in, push, and go back into your basic brakes. Practice on the other side. Take note of my chest and how it's pointing in the direction that the hoop is moving. I'm giving it a little bit of power as I send it back over with the paddle. And once you get a little bit comfortable with this, you can start going back and forth. So instead of adding breaks in between your paddles, you can just keep going into your paddles back and forth. And the way that you're gonna do that is just by bringing your hand inside immediately after you do the break on either side. So we're gonna inside paddle, inside paddle, inside paddle, inside paddle. And that is pretty much it. It really is just a matter of you getting the timing down and bringing your hand inside immediately after you break on either side of the body. So all that it really is is just adding another rotation around your body as you are doing your breaks. So again, some things to just keep in mind is immediately after you break, whichever hand that you are going to do the paddle in, you're going to bring your hand inside of the hoop up against your chest. And once it makes contact with the back of your hand, you're just going to push the hoop and paddle the hoop and bring your hand down and back up. So that is the basics of paddles. There are so many different variations that I'm going to dive into in future videos. So if you like this video, if it helped you at all, be sure to subscribe so that you can catch some more tutorials about breaks and paddles. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. And be sure to follow me at Hoop with Kate on literally everything. I will see you in the next one. Happy hooping.